Good morning, everybody. Chad Musgrove here of ProAd Insight. I'm the guy that's uh, be behind the hybridwebsitereviews.com website. And <clears throat> this video is going to explore kind of some of the reasons why hybrid websites just don't show up in any kind of a competitive industry, in any kind of a competitive market. Uh, they have a lot of sites that show up, uh, you know, because of their small towns or whatever. I mean, showing up if there's three dentists in in a tiny town, it's pretty easy to get a dentist website to show up without any optimization. But, you know, what do you do when you're in a town like Charlotte, North Carolina, and there's 30 dentists and you're trying to beat them out? Um, in that case, there's absolutely no way that a hybrid website um, is going to show up. And if the site was previously showing up for other ranking factors, um, I would bet within a year of switching over to a high boost site, it would probably drop in the rankings pretty drastically. So why is that? You know, um, why why do hybrid websites not perform well? Because the basic optimization is not done, and we're talking standard things that everybody in the industry has known for 10 years that need to be done on websites, and these are just not done. So, I found this website. I was looking for one that had some history to it. Um, one of the things I've learned over the years is that uh, one of the ranking factors for Google is you know, the age of the domain. Uh, if, if the domain's older and has some more authority, has had content on it for a while, you're more likely to be able to get it to, pl to rank. Um, so I wanted to find one that had some decent ranking on it. And I did find one and it, you know, here's the who is information. I wanted to look it up real quick for this langleyfamilydentistry.com. Um, and you'll see the creation date for this was 2006. So it's been over nine years now, um, almost 10 come January, be 10 years that this website's been uh, the domain names existed. So should have some instant credibility. Um, I did a few searches real quick. Dentist Charlotte, North Carolina. I did another one for family dentist. Did another one for affordable braces and then emergency dental. I mean, these are just some of the profit centers for most dentists where they would like to be showing up for sure. And they're nowhere to be found. Um, when I search for, I just use my control F heel here and there. There's no, um, Langley Family Dental doesn't show up. Make sure I'm spelling it. Yep, Langley Fam Family Dental just doesn't show up in any of these searches. So, you know, let's take a look at them individually real quick, and uh, I'll wrap this up. I'll, I'll try to not sidetrack too much like I usually do. <laughs> so looking at this site, let's jump over to the home one. I mean, this is the page that should be optimized for terms like dentist, family dentist, things like that. You know, so we should see a title tag that says family dentistry uh, as the number one word or family dentist. And, you know, I can tell already it's not. It's her name, um, which is where they're already failing. If I look at the page source, um, let's just take a look at the title. So there's family dentistry in there. Um, and then the word dentist is last. So uh, this should be over here at the beginning. It should say dentist um, Charlotte, North Carolina, because that's the phrase that you want to show up for is dentist Charlotte, North Carolina. That would be the title of this page. And then if we go down and look at the H1 tags, the heading tags, which are like your chapter titles, um, we've got seven of them, not good. One of which is the address and phone number. Um, another is the caring for you like family. Another is the phone number again. Uh, this is the address, that's the number, so I guess it's not again. Um, and then we have not your typical dental practice and our mission. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. A, you shouldn't have seven heading tags, our goal and our philosophy. So if you look at this, I mean, they've wasted these tags. These are literally the heading tags. This is not good. Uh, this should be the top of this should say dentist, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. The meta description should say, uh, I'm a, you know, I'm a local dentist in Charlotte, North Carolina, something to that effect. Uh, let's see what it says. Individualized care, general dentistry board. Blah, blah, blah. So now you can see why this site does not show up for a term dentist or even a family dentist, because nowhere on this page is the word family or even for that matter. Oh, there is one. one oh, I lied. There's like four of them, but um, four or five of uh the word family. So I guess if we're optimizing for the word family, that would be good. Let's see what this is. If that's another heading tag. Yep, another H1. It's just one of the ones I missed, but or didn't notice over here. So we got the word family, but we don't have family. We don't have dentist. I'm just kind of curious how many times the word dentist is on here. Um, zero, because every mention, the three mentions are the word dentistry, not dentist. So 
uh, it's just not there. I mean, it, this site does nothing for a user, even if people manage to find it. Uh, but the only people that are going to be going here are somebody who's Googling Langley Family Dentistry, which let's just take a look real quick. I'm kind of curious. Dentistry Charlotte. Oh, I said I wasn't. Uh, it does show up, and these pages are indexed, so that's nice. How many of our competitors show up? No, she's, they, this is actually showing up good. It's got to be the history of it that's helping with that. But yeah, so that's kind of nice. I mean, the fact it's nine years old doesn't hurt. But um, anyhow, so I'm going to wrap this up. I'm not going to go through each one of these, but there's nowhere that there's affordable braces. There's nowhere that there's emergency dentist. I think the only thing I found was a services page that has essentially a few bullet points. I mean, it's just kind of pointless. This website's not going to perform. I'm not going to go into all the other issues with it, but you can see that the basic optimization is not done. Actually, one of the things for basic is, let's just look at this real quick. One of the things for basic is going to be the file names, which they never do right. So in this case, it's, you know, this image is, this is the name of the image. I mean, that helps. That's just a wasted opportunity. should say dental receptionist or dentist helping patient or something because that's another chance to tell Google that you're a dentist and that's what these pictures are about and that's what the website's about um, and then the URL should also be you know in in family dentistry or whatever the keyword is you're going after not the not all these numbers uh, which is another thing that Hybrid does even when I go to home it's home slash blah 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 so I mean it, it basic 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 SEO that everybody knows should be done on every single website, not even a little bit done on a hybrid website. Steer clear of these guys if you have any intention of showing up on Google. Thanks for uh, watching. I hope you found this helpful.